Welcome back my dear student. In this lecture here I'm going to show you how to turn on a feature that we need in development to see the mistakes we make in our code. PHP will let us know if we have some type of syntax error. Okay, so go to your local host in your XAMPP folder and go to your PHP info and here we're gonna have the server information. I'm gonna type in command F, F or control F for Windows I'm gonna look for display underscore error okay and if I maximize this you can see that I found it right here make sure that yours is on alright because this is going to let us know some of you have this off and when you make a mistake in your syntax you're gonna spend hours looking for the mistake and you can't tell what it is but this if it's on is going to tell you if it's off what you need to do is you need to find your PHP DNI file in this you will find that I'll show you right now go to your XAMPP folder some of you have it on the C drive because you're using Windows and I'm using I'm using a Mac so I have it on the applications but find your XAMPP folder then find your ETC folder and then inside there you find your PHP DNI file drop it in your co-editor like this right here you're gonna drop it it's gonna look like this I'm gonna make this a little smaller alright and then what you do is you search for it alright I press command F for my co-editor and I can look for it and then we find this line right here mine is line 533 and you can see that mine is on alright if you have it off again what you need to do is if you have it like this change it to on make sure it's a capital O there and save it go to your control manager on XAMPP and restart your services. You click here and then for MySQL and for Apache and you restart everything. Alright, once you do that then you can go back to to that page right here, refresh and in this case we're going to have to go back to PHP info and make sure that when you search for it again it's on. Alright, you double check it's on to make sure it's on. Another feature is that you make sure that you have output buffering on too. I have it with 4096 bytes. Alright, if you have it off, alright, go back here, search for it. Output, there we go, buffering. That's not it. I'm going to look at it a second time. I got it on line 264 and I have the values of 4096 okay so make sure you change that on your output buffering alright this has output buffering here too 496 and 496 if change that and the second one change that okay so anyway you should be good to go after that just make sure you save this restore your services and you are good to go later on the reason why we're turning this on here for output buffering is because the header sometimes sends information when it sends a request and we have some space in between the header of the file when it leaves it's called white space if we have some white space here and he, that files gets sent to the server the server gives us an error okay you can you can look for more information about the output buffering but just know that we need it later on we're gonna have to turn it in turn it on manually like this let me just show you right here like this with this function ob underscore start and we put it at the header all the way in the first line of that file that we will be using a function called header right here this function right here is gonna redirect us to another page we're gonna use this function to do that and if we use this function and don't start the output buffering on that specific page later on we will have a problem alright so always pay attention to that if you get if you we use this function you get an error saying oh headers already being sent then know that it's because you're not using you're not turning it turning this on manually on that specific page but anyway thank you so much for watching this lecture here and I'll see you in the next one take care